what makes a good clinical informaticist? What type of person should go into the field? <laughs> Other than, you know, I mean, you know, there's lots of punchlines I have here, like seeking abuse or punishment or, <laughs> but, but uh, like it's being a translator, right? It's, it's like being an interpreter, somebody who, my, my dad was a, was a military interpreter for a while when he was in his military career. And he, he was a, 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 an interpreter. And he always taught me something that kind of stuck with me. Like good interpreters spend half their time in one culture and half of their time in another culture. And they have to learn both cultures to be an effective interpreter. And I think clinical informatics and it's the same sort of principle. Like you need to be able to spend some of your time in IT and some of your time in clinical. And once you understand their customs and their traditions and their words and their culture, then you become an effective interpreter between the two. And I guess that would be my answer. Well, I'll tell you, I, you know, I've sat in those meetings where we're trying to take a single word I've talked about this on the show a couple of times, or, or single event in the hospital. We're going, okay, well, let's define this. And it's not, you look at it and the terminology, you're like, this is easy. I mean, this should be a five minute meeting. Three hours later, you're sitting there going, all right, we have six definitions for this very, what appears to be very simple thing. And the problem is it shows up on 150 reports that go out. So don't we have to get to a single day? I, I mean, is that the is that one of the bigger challenges that you have is the is defining the terminology and getting the terminology right? Yeah, I I mean, I, I think we're it's funny because when people hear what I do, they're like, well, you must be kind of a a doctor, or maybe you're like an IT person, maybe you do technology, and but really, it's a lot of it is exactly what you said. It's about understanding both cultures and terminology is so important. It's so critical for effective communication between the two. And I often sit there in meeting, like it sounds like you have too, where you're, you're watching both sides talking at each other, but they're not quite communicating. And once you like kind of really like narrow in on like, what is it gonna take for the communication to be established? Suddenly it just, it changes the whole dynamic and, and, and you can almost see the lights go on as both sides are like, ah, I see what you're looking for. And then and it's awesome watching the solutions then fall into place. It's really great.